You know, the Bible talks about out of the heart, the mouth speaks, right? And if it's a, if it's a corrupt tree, it brings corrupt fruit. So when a person is speaking corrupt words out of their mouth, continually, not just, you know, everyone, somebody, you, you, you take and you're putting a roof, putting the roof on and you hit your thumb with a hammer, you might say a, something you shouldn't, shouldn't say probably, but if it's just happening on a moment by moment, day by day basis, it's out of the heart, the mouth speaks. 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 Do you believe the Bible or do you believe some human? If everything out of their mouth is just cursing, MF this, blah, 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 and F this, and bleeping this, and bleeping that, and everything out of their mouth is corrupt. Now, but they say, oh, I'm a believer, or I'm saved, or I'm spirit-filled, or whatever. Do you believe the Bible, or do you believe what they're saying? See, there's this thing about getting a new heart. Now, nobody's perfect. I'm not trying to be legalistic here at all. I'm never going to be legalistic. I'm not going to make judgment calls about people in my little my world, ear gate, whatever. I'm not going to make judgment calls but until after a season. But after enough time everything out of their mouth is either to get attention or to draw hits or draw uh, see they're trying to, to acquiesce to the world like remember the uh, apostle Jesus says that says you're going to deny me when the rooster crows you're going to deny me he says never Lord I won't deny you and somebody's he was hanging on the cross somebody says you're one of them you're one of his and he started cursing and the word curse the word curse in itself means you're cursing yourself a lot of times people who curse they're cursing because they're mad because they got a curse on themselves. They feel like they're under a curse, under some kind of curse, but they're cursing themselves because everything out of their mouth is a curse word. So they're actually cursing themselves. The very thing that they are cursing is themselves because they're bringing a curse on themselves. Do you really think that God cares what the witches do I mean he wants to see them get saved but do you understand that what God has blessed that the devil cannot curse so if somebody's cursing the world curse, cursing a person I was raised around this I know what I'm talking about I don't even want to say it but I'm going to say it if somebody's on every conversation every day they get mad and they say they say, damn it to hell. If you've heard that, if you were growing, if you were raised hearing that every day, and this person never changed. They kept saying it over and over. And as they got older, the curses just kept coming. But the ones they tried to curse prospered. The ones in the ear, the ones who are, were in earshot of those words prospered. Eventually, the ones in the earshot of that eventually walk away because you don't want to hear that kind of talk. It's actually just ignorance, foolishness, vul the vulgar talk. If every time they, every time you talk to them on the phone, every time you see them in person, they have something vulgar to say. They're either trying to put it in your mind. Or they're just corrupt. They're either trying to trying to put put a curse on you, or they're corrupt. And what does it say? The Bible says, 
bad company corrupts good morals. So they want you to associate with their vulgarity. They want you to uh, commune with them. I had this, uh, I was working in a hotel, and this uh, this guy had a, rented a room, and every you would see every day these different women would walk around the back and go up to his room, and then stay there. they were collecting their money, right? He was he was their pimp, right? One time I went in there to work work on the AC and uh, see these these pimps a lot, especially the ones that are that escaped getting caught. It seems like I don't know. I'm not a I'm not an expert on this, but from my observation, being in the industry, they these pimps they learn they're almost like a Jesuit. They they know all the doctrines. They're masters at telling, saying what you want to hear because they know what you believe. That's why the Jesuits study all the different religions. They want to just know what you believe so they can get in and corrupt. So he says, let's commune. I was over there. He said, have, have a seat. Let's sit down. Let's commune together like he was some spiritual leader or something, trying to be some kind of spiritual leader. But I knew he was a pimp by his activity. But he was. But he would go down to the. He would try to get buy pizza, buy food. He would try to cover his his uh, evil with uh, money, like buying food. That was bribery. Don't tell on me. I'll give you food. Don't don't rat me out. I'll give you food. You know. So they want to com- see. They want to commune with you to corrupt you. Because they're corrupt. Their heart's corrupt. Now, God ain't going to let you. Let's say you did go. See, when I said bad company corrupts good morals, you know, it's it's a pull downward, but the Holy Spirit is a pull upward. So he's not, he scourges every son he receives. So he's not going to let you go in total fellowship with the evil. He says, don't walk with them. Don't stand with them and don't sit with them. Because when you sit down with them, it's over. Don't sit with the evil. Don't sit with the scorner. So out of the heart, the mouth speaks. So it's a scorner. Now, why are they bitter? They're actually bitter at God as the root, but they're also bitter at themselves. They might say say these things because they're saying they're bitter at the... Republicans or the Democrats or they're bitter at some something from the 3D. They're looking at uh, a lateral thing, but they're actually bitter at God deep down. But they're also bitter at themselves deep down because most of these people they don't really go out and try to change anything. They just sit there and complain. They don't really make a change. It's always just complaining. There's no building. There's no service. You know, sometimes my Uber riders talk to me, and I say, and some of them don't have a car, their car broke down, they got to go to the emergency room, and you know, sometimes you talk to them, and you end up talking about how, they talk about how much money you make, I say, yeah, it's pretty good money, but it's mainly service, because you're helping people get to work, you're helping people get to the doctor, the hospital, get home, the car breaks down, it's mainly a good service, you know. It helps people. And that kind of mindset in today's society is foreign. But if you can keep that mindset that your job is service, you're part-time, if you got rental property, it's a service to mankind. If you if you work at a bank, it's service to keep the money flowing, to keep people with food. If you work uh, as a farmer, it's service. No matter what you're doing, the waitresses or servers, they're giving somebody some a good lunch. Most places now I go to, I don't even like the taste of the food. I, I just don't even go anymore unless it has a good taste, unless a, a good environment. I go to the restaurant for an environment, and if it's a bad environment, why should I go? If it don't taste good, why should I go? If they're cooking with oils that are destroying my health, why should I go? Why would I go to a restaurant that's cooking in oils that are bad for you? They're just cooking in, in their oil. They don't change the oil out. You can taste it. It's just corrupt. So just like they cook their food in corrupt oil, 
Their, their heart is corrupt. Their mouth, their words are corrupt. Every, their thoughts are corrupt. Everything about them is corrupt. I'm not talking about perfection, but I'm talking about somebody that's always speaking corrupt stuff. Because if they're speaking it, they're thinking it. They had to think it before they spoke it, right? And when you separate from these kind of people, you know what happens? When you separate from these kind of people, your depression goes away. When you separate from these kind of people, when you sever yourself, separate from these people, your depression goes away, your outlook changes. You get a new, new outlook. And uh, you cut their music off. Their mur- their music is just curses. Their TV's curses. Their commercials are curses. It's idolatry and greed and all that stuff. When you separate, your whole outlook changes. Your your hope. You have more hope. You have more positive. You you don't. Especially if you counteract them with every. Anytime somebody says a curse, get your phone out and start recording something positive, praise God from whom all blessings flow or something like that or play some uplifting music because all they are is a walking vessel of the devil. Think about what I'm telling you. Somebody who's just always cursing. They are a walking, living, breathing vessel of curses. Their body ship is a curse. Everything out of their mouth is cursing. So their body, their mind, their spirit, their soul, if everything out of their mouth is cursing instead of praising God and being thankful and being and looking to God, the author and finisher of your salvation, yeah, the flesh is nothing but sin. But if everything out of their mouth is derogatory, tearing down, I'm talking about everything. When somebody's teaching something online, they're trying to show you how corrupt, if they're, if they're biblical, they're trying to show you how corrupt this place really is. That is a death call. But they're trying to also move you towards the, towards the light and get you out of the death call into positive. Yeah, there's negative all, always. But you set your affections above, not below, because setting affections below is the negative. So whatever it is, if they're, if they're so caught up with the world system, the world, the flesh, the prior life, and that's all they're thinking on, yeah, they're going to be negative because that's all they care about. Greed, money, whatever. But if they set their affections above, they're going to be positive. They'll be pointing people to Jesus. Yeah, there's a negative part of the sine wave, but there's also the positive part. But if somebody's always pulling you down, that's like a vampire. They're vampiring and pulling your spirit down. Do you understand? And I'm preaching to myself just like I am anybody. And uh, it's a process. And the process is to move you away from 3D to 5D. Away from the earthly, fleshly, temporal to the eternal.